instead of just saying the brand, we can say it's your image versus your music. Because if your image is destroyed, then how well is your music going to do? And I think that was probably her biggest issue is her image was great at that point when she was with T.I. and people liked her. And it was like, okay, we'll accept this girl. We'll see what she has to offer. And she put out some music. People liked it. But once the image itself was ruined, I think that's the point where the music suffered. Like if that, it's, it's almost like if I give you, let's say I'm, sell, I'm saying, hey, I'm going to prepare you this great meal, man, steak, all the fixings on the side and everything. You're like, oh, okay, cool. But then instead of me taking a clean plate, right, I take a dirty plate out the out the sink and right. put it on the dirty plate and hand it to you. <laughs> you gonna look at me like, man, are you crazy? You, you, you're gonna hate me for this. Yeah, I, you, um, I almost feel like a hypocrite to myself, not meaning to cut you off. But speaking of brand and speaking of music, who gets a worse rap ever than Chris Brown, right? right? And then he gave us dope records, and all of a sudden it was almost forgotten that he had whatever hint the incident between him and Rihanna. So I guess we back to, and I guess I'm just trying to get everybody stirred up it because it, to me it seems like it's both sides. That was if the, the music is great. But I, I think that Chris Brown also had a lot of good music before that. Iggy just jumped right into, I guess the mainstream, I had never heard of her before. And that was all we knew. And then she kind of went south. So I feel like you kind of need that good record before to get the other side to come back quicker. Well, look, when you're going through negative, right? When your brand is taking punches and blows, you have to keep reminding your core why you the message. So Chris Brown kept hitting you with dope records. Even when you didn't want to support him, he hit you with fire records. And you be like, you might be punching people, but I'm in the club movie. <laughs> so his music basically outshined anything. Well, I won't say anything, but for the stuff that did happen that did tarnish his image, his music outshined it. And Iggy just has never reached that point where her music could outshine yeah. the negativity in her yeah. life. Which, I mean, look at R. Kelly. I mean, with what he went through, he did something that, you know, we're not even going to mention on camera, and next thing you know, he puts out allegedly, another single. Allegedly. Allegedly. Did on camera. And then the next thing you know, then he got back the camera go like that. My bad. My, 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 my. <laughs> hey, is, hey, let me, is the camera working? But that ain't me. My, my bad. Sorry. Sorry, I'm killing my bad. But hey, the guy puts out a hit, the next thing you know, women are back in the club dancing to the music. Plus, I mean, with Iggy being a woman herself, it was she probably doesn't. She's not gonna get that edge with the women fans. But yeah. all in all, like, I guess when you think about it, if you're gonna do something crazy, you better make sure you have hits. You better make sure your music is so good that if you feel like doing something crazy, jumping out the car and kicking somebody or something like that, you better <laughs> give us some hits. 